Good morning, guys. I'm just getting ready to head off to the pagoda for the lunch and listen. Look, last time that we spoke, I talked to you guys about asking the hard question in business. This time round, I want to speak to you about following your head and your heart as well. Um, you're going to come across a lot of other businesses that will have advice for you. And I just want you to remain you. Follow your heart. Um, it's as important as your head in business and make sure that you stay true to you because nobody else can do you like you, ladies. I love you and I cannot wait to see you again. And make sure you're wearing your bright lippy for lip timber. Hey guys, my name is Deb and I'm from Two Hearts, One Love. I started my Instagram page about three years ago when a business I had bought some clothes from for my girls said to me, hey, you should do brand ripping with your girls. They're so cute. So I literally would take hundreds of photos until I got the right one to post of my girls where they may be smiling, but it was super dodgy, but I just had fun with it. These days I post about things that I love, mum life, things that my girls might love, um, love to wear or some toys that they love as well. And I post about home styling things as well, renovations, that type of things, just things that I'm quite passionate about. So um, I make sure I build up a relationship with my followers. I go above and beyond for my clients and I just have fun with what I do. I don't let Instagram take over my life because that's when it can become overwhelming and draining. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having an amazing time. Much love. Bye. Everyone, I'm Amanda. I'm a local Perth mother of three. I'm also the inventor and designer of Feeding Friend, which is a super portable um, nursing pillow for on the go bottle or breastfeeding. I have learned so much in my business journey, but what I do want to share with you guys is to stay in your lane. Be true to your product or your service. Don't be discouraged from what other businesses are doing on social media and just back yourself. If you stay in your lane and remember why you do what you do, you will see wonders for your business. Hello, gorgeous girl bosses. My tip for you today is to outsource what you can when you can. Whether you're in a season of hustle or you just need more hours in the day, it makes sense to outsource those little micro jobs so you can free up your time to do the things that you love and you're passionate about. Whether that is as simple as doing grocery shopping online or outsourcing graphics to a virtual assistant because it's something that is time consuming and not that enjoyable to you. We all work within our strengths, so outsource what is not serving you. Hey everyone, Tiffany Datu here, Executive Area Manager and Independent Consultant with Arbonne International. I've been running my business for three and a half years now and probably one of the best pieces of advice that I've ever been given in business and in life is to always be connecting with others, whether that's sharing your product or service or connecting people with each other. It'll really help you to develop new relationships with clients and friends and that's where the magic happens. Hi everyone, I'm Alex Tricolo. You would know me as Speech with Alex Tricolo on Instagram. I am also a Perth mum of three kids. I am super passionate about empowering mums with information about speech and language so that they can make the right decisions for their kids. I have two really quick tips for you today. The first one is if your child has any difficulties with speech and language, do not blame yourself. And the second one is don't go out and buy expensive toys. Use what you've got and go with your child's interests. And if you don't know what I mean by that, get in touch with me. I'm always here to answer any of your questions. Hi, I'm Erin or E from Erin McKenzie Creative. I run a successful full-time family photography business and have been so lucky to do so for the last nine years. I love what I do. There's a little quote that I enjoy and it's really great for business. It's a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan and a plan backed by action becomes a reality, which I think is a cool little saying for you guys to live by.